Hello, everybody. This is Spirit Man, a.k.a. Reverend James T. Moore. I just want to take a few minutes of your time today <clears throat> to talk to the just and the unjust. True love must be sincere. And you can find that in Romans 12, 9. When they speak about love. The word is proclaimed so much, so much used. The word is claimed most least understood in all languages. The word love. In all languages, it's misunderstood. Jesus Christ came down to demonstrate the meaning of true love when he gave his life to humanity on the cross. We are results of him going to the cross for us. We are here because he went to the cross for us. We didn't go to the cross for him, we couldn't. Because we had sin all over us when we came in the world. We didn't know which way was up, but Christ did. He watched out over us, and he still is for those who are saved. But he shines on the unjust too, because you have the time, not the time, but you have a, you have time, I don't want to use the word time, you have to change your life for time runs out. I should put it that way, huh? Christ loved us so much, he came to cross home for our sins, Humanity's punishment for all the sins on us. Now we right now are operating and what we don't understand right now when it comes to our kids, all the senseless killing out here. They killing each other senselessly. And these are our kids. out here doing these things. These are kids out here doing these things, so we must be able to take a hold of them and demonstrate love to them so they dem demonstrate love to each other. We want to play blaming on the mental problems, yes. There's a lot of things take place here, but love, God already says, conquers all things all things, but we must speak it. We must use it every day in our children's lives. Let's make a difference than what they see at home they come out here with. Because a lot of homes are broken. There's a lot of homes with no fathers. There's a lot of homes with no even, even parent. But it's time for y'all to demonstrate love. Love is not buying them everything they want. It's demonstrate the love from your heart to demonstrate to others. We must stand accountable for our kids. We must stand, realize it's our kids out there is killing each other. And the first thing everybody said, what to my kid? But he pulled the trigger. Let's get it real. If we want to change what's going on out here, we must talk to our own kids. That means the ones you have born, sit them down, talk to them. Start up, sit them down at a young age, talk to them. Talk to them now as they grow into adults. Talk to them now as they're in high school. Have a love pattern with them so they demonstrate to others. Because demonstrating the love which God did when he said, Greater love than that 
he who lays down his life for a friend. God did that. Greater love is for us to take our kids and give them love demonstrations on how to act. Now, teach them godly love, not worldly love. Worldly love will get you in trouble every time. Demonstrate godly love. Love them when they think they did wrong. Love them when they do right. Love them when they confuse. Love them. Take time to speak to your kids. Take time. Take time. So, on this day, Jesus Christ made a day for you here today. What I mean by that today, you woke up this morning on account of his love. You got out your house on account of your love. You drove to work on account of his love. Let's demonstrate love to our kids. Your kids are in a place where they need Christ right now, not tomorrow right now. The kids are at a place where they don't have nobody to turn to because you don't demonstrate love. You demonstrate hate to them or what comes out your mouth to other people. Your kids watch and demonstrate. It's time to change. So I ask every mother, father, brother and sister who can save their little brother, save their little sister, speak to them about love of Christ. I know it's enough of us out here to be able to do that. Somewhere in your family, you got somebody who follows Christ. Call them, I don't care if you ain't called them in a while, just so they can tell their cousins, their nieces, their nephews, about the difference between agape love and worldly love. This is Reverend James T. Moore signing off, AKA Spirit Man. Take this message and send it to a friend and remind them that God loves you at all times. This music is playing. I don't own the rights to it. I just use it for the song. I just use the music for this background. Amen. Remember, whatever you do, will God be pleased to see what you're doing. It's time to change.